One, two, three, four. Actually, I can count from 12 until 120, but it's not about my mobile fitness center. This is the new Ultima Zoom Lens. 8K resolution, it can resolve up to 8K resolution from Laoa. Let's check it out. You're watching Synity, supported by b and and CVP. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Synity and I'm here with Marcus. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And no, it's not that we have nothing to talk about. Actually, we have a lot to talk about. And this time I would like to introduce the new Ultima lenses or lens by Laoa. You see here two lenses, I'll explain in a second why. Marcus, what it's all about. Okay, so this is uh, the Ultima 12 to 120 millimeter 8K uh, T4 Super 35 broadcast zoom lens. Uh, this is actually uh, Lawa's first entrance to the 8K uh, high definition broadcasting market. Uh, since we know that there isn't uh, many kinds, uh, many kinds of uh, wide-angle uh, focal length uh, for the broadcast zoom lens in the market, that's why we are trying to release this kind of lens with a 10x zoom range to provide to the market. So, but who is your target audience with that type of lens? It's not so. We'll talk about the weight in a second, and also about the size, because obviously, when you do something like this, the law of physics will apply. But who is your ultimate uh, audience here? Uh, we are trying to see if uh, the broadcasting studios who would like to do a very fast-paced ENG and EFP work, they would like to use these kind of lenses to shoot something like uh, a football match or a different, uh, for example, like a news report, that kind of stuff. Uh, they will be utilizing these lenses because they provide really, really great range. It's actually a bit of the territory of Fujifilm or Fujinon and, and, and some Viltrox even introduced something similar. So you're entering a different path here. Yes, definitely. Uh, you know, in our we are trying to do something uh, that is always surprising to the artists. That's why we are trying to see uh, this kind of broadcast zoom lens that, that, we, uh, that can be a solution to the already, uh, I would say, um, to the already uh, fulfilled uh, uh, broadcasting zoom lens market. Yeah, that's why we are trying to produce this lens. Yeah. And the Ultima 12 to 120 uh, millimeter, yeah. the F stop or T stop, what is here? Uh, the T stop will be T4, and across the zoom range, it will be constant T4 aperture. And we also designed the lens to be very much a uh, par focal, so you don't have to s witness any kinds of uh, loss of focus in terms of uh, when you switch the focus. And the zoom range, yeah. And the lens mount will come on a single mount or different mount? Uh, the mount will come in REBL mount, PL mount, and we know that some people may ask, oh, do you have any B4 mount? Uh, it depends on market demands. If the market demands is enough, we will make the B4 mount, the file is ready. It just all depends on you guys, yeah. How do you determine, optically speaking, that this is an 8K lens? Well, uh, that is a very interesting question. I glad, I'm glad you asked. Uh, so we have done some testing that uh, for the resolution, uh, the 8K means that it can be put on 8K cameras without uh, problems, without uh, any loss of resolution. Uh, it's all about the uh, MTF as well as the line per millimeter. Uh, we have tested that uh, for the 8K uh, cameras, uh, our lenses can be put on it with a, with a high and good enough resolution. So uh, we can call this kind of lens an 8K uh, broadcasting zoom lens. And besides that, since our uh, image circle is actually 29.5 uh, millimeter, so uh, it's a little bit bigger than Super 35, normal Super 35 uh, sensors. So it can provide a little bit over to 8K resolution as well. But uh, yeah. Okay, so it's clear that obviously, as you said, it's a Super 35 lens. Otherwise it would be enormous. If it was a full frame, 12 to 120, I don't want even to think about the size of this lens. Good. Two questions. Yeah. First of all, if you look here, I mean, it looks like a nice decoration, but it's not only a decoration. One is blue and the other one is green. What is that? Okay, so uh, that is a really good question. Uh, the green one is actually our prototype lenses, but the blue one is our finalized sample. You know, there are uh, many kinds of, you know, samples, versions in terms of the lens designing process. Yeah, but we still, uh, yeah, the blue one is our finalized version. Okay, so one day maybe this is even worth more than that. Huh? That's yeah. like a single, okay. Now, we have two lenses here. They're both identical, but this one has an uh, additional part. What is this? 
Okay, so this is a server mode that we partnered with MoveCam to make compatible with our ultimate uh, Ultima uh, Broadcasting Streamlens. We know that uh, Broadcasting Streamlens, you have to have a server mode for you to uh, quickly move around during ENG and EFP work. That's why we are partnering with MoveCam to introduce this server mode to have a very convenient control in terms of the focus ring, uh, aperture, as well as the uh, zoom ring. Yes. Just for those who are not familiar, again, this is not an autofocus lens. It's a man, fully manual lens. And when you talked about uh, controlling focus, you, mean, you meant that it's easier to control um, uh, the focus ring, not by hand, but you can do this also uh, automatically, mechanically. Okay, good. Wait, because that looks like, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a heavy lens, obviously. So what is the weight of this lens? If you can remember, this is not a test. Okay, <laughs> Okay. so the weight is around uh, 3.2 kilograms, but we have a good reason for, uh, uh, for the size and the uh, uh, weight of that is because we would like to provide a, a robust lens build to our uh, uh, DPs as well as camera operators for them to withstand a uh, very harsh environment when they do uh, different kinds of uh, videography work. So yeah, this lens uh, can be part, can be paired with a lot of uh, cameras, for example, like the uh, Blackmagic Broadcast G2 and other uh, lenses, uh, and other cameras with uh, PL mount and in super 35 formats as well. Outer diameter? Sorry? The outer diameter? Okay, uh, the outer diameter is 114 millimeter, but the inside would be 110. Yes. Okay. And the minimum focus range of uh, such a lens? Uh, the minimum focus on 12 millimeter, let's say, uh, on, when it work on really wide, mm. what will be the minimum distance, uh, focus distance? Uh, it was, uh, it would be 100 centimeters. Would be 100 centimeters. So one meter is the yes. minimum focus. Yes. Okay. Okay. I mean, you have to compromise somewhere. It's not that you can have it all. How about pricing and availability? Uh, the pricing will actually be 15,000 US dollars, and it will be available early next year. Marcus. Thank you very much for the information. Very interesting. Guys, this lens is not for everyone. Yeah, this is kind of a, I don't want to say a niche lens, but for those uh, broadcasters or rental houses or whatever who needs something like this, well, now you can have it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.